okay so we are on the console and right now we are on a, we are on a, on a working directory where um, we will activate the virtual environment of Django so this is how we can activate it like a pp and within shell so you can see the prompt got changed okay and we are still on the working directory so what we can do now um, let's clear the screen we will create a project in Django and the command is for Django hyphen admin and start project and then uh, let's say I'll give the project name as execute uh, script okay so we can see once we execute that command there is a folder that got created if we go inside that folder we can see there are um, two folders that is one with the name of the project and another is manage.py so this is the master python file which takes care of all the um, um, takes care of all, all the other things like uh, the creation of app server the, the migration things and all so we don't have to see much into this so uh, the point is once you create the object this will be your absolute path of the uh, project okay okay so what we will do now we will create a folder called templates where all our uh, html files will reside so we are into the template directory and we will create a html file name home.html i have my code ready uh, so i'll just copy paste into it so if you see this is the html simple html page which uh, will just create a form inside the form you will see a, a text area so this is the text area this is the level of that uh, uh, text area it names will be server and uh, uh, you, you can give any name uh, in this i've just mentioned uh, what i feel like so this is the test area you can give its id you can give its name so i've given its name as param okay you can uh, give the dimension as well so the main main thing is uh, this name. This name name can be used uh, in 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 different files as well. So I've given this uh, name of this area as param, and uh, I've given a submit button as well. And this the value the value of that button is this. Okay. So uh, we can see that on the top there is a variable called data one. So this this data one is the variable. This this value the value of that this data one will be coming from a different Python file which will be reflecting ultimately here okay so the action of this form will is going to an external so external is a keyword which will be which will be communicating to uh, to a different uh, python file where we will be creating a route okay so this is it the for the html file we'll save it and move forward okay so we are still in templates and we have one file html file is ready so since we have created this template folder so django doesn't know does not not know about this folder so we need we need to uh, let django know that what is this folder at all about oh. no. since django does not know about okay. since django does not know about this uh, template folder we have to let know django what is uh, this folder all about this template folder so we need to go inside this execute project now as i said uh, this is the absolute part of the project which you have created and inside that there is a one there will be one folder that will be created automatically with the name of the project and the manage.py so inside this folder there will be a settings.py uh, file you need to go inside this search for dir okay it is there It should be there okay it, it is inside templates and dir so what you need to do is you need to mention the folder name that you have created since uh, as i said the uh, the absolute path is uh, till project so we will just write templates instead of giving the entire path so it will come consider it so, okay so this settings file is done then what we have to do we have to create the routes definitions okay so what the logic behind it so what the page will look like and uh, what will be done when the button will be created what button will be pressed okay so 
this is the code for that okay so what we are doing we are we have created two functions so in python we create functions uh, something like this so two functions one is button and one and another is external so uh, when, when the button definition is called it will just render the home.html file and uh, once the external uh, function is called it will be executing this code so external uh, function will be called as soon as that form uh, will be executed okay so we see this is a post uh, request that is uh, uh, that is being executed and which is taking the value up as as parent from the same form which is uh, present in html so this is the same value which is coming from there and it is uh, this value input is taking that variable and we are executing a script so this is basically a run function which uh, takes some sort of argument so, so the first argument will, will be a list and then uh, uh, these uh, followed by this so uh, the argument you can see this is uh, sys.executable and then you have to give the script name since, since i have not given this absolute path so definitely this script will, will be residing inside the project folder and then this is inp is the variable which we are getting from the form form value okay so this is the thing and then we are just printing out the uh, output of the, the 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 script that we will be creating Python script in the backend and then we are returning the same uh, output value to the html file in the form of uh, the the key value okay in the form of the dictionary that we are passing so out dot study out will be the ultimate value of the variable this and uh, we are giving the name as data one and this data one name will be uh, as you see we have the same data one variable name was rendering in the form file okay so we'll be saving this file then uh, we have uh, uh, urls okay so in urls what you need to define is the routes like um, um, on, on, on on which particular uh, uh, url path the which uh, html page or what value needs to be executed so if i say um, no value no route no no nothing after port number then it will be going to uh, since my file is views.py so views.py inside that i have my button okay so this is thing comma then again path this external since uh, my um, tag name for external logic is external so external slash then this and then again the rendering will be uh, is tagged in views dot button function so this is it okay so we need to let know this python as well that what is views so we need to import that python uh, file from uh, the absolute location or in the same location where the url file exists to this so import views so this is it okay so this is done so i'll tell you uh, what will happen uh, and and uh, uh, since okay let me summarize uh, everything what we have discussed so far so this is the absolute directory of the project and this is the directory which got created once you create a project as well as the manage.py so we are into this particular directory and when we see what we have done we have created a template folder first inside that we have created the HTML file okay then uh, we have created views and then we have created URLs so if you see on HTML file we have created a form okay and that form takes up a input field with a button submit okay and that uh, name of that field is param okay 
so you will see on our HTML page there will be a text area where you need to write something okay and then uh, that uh, whatever you will write that will be taken as a variable in param the value of that uh, input will be taken as in param and uh, we have given a additional uh, variable data one which will which is coming from the different python file view okay so consider this param value this param will be value is going to views okay you see the views so this is the button definition that we have created so and this is rendering the file home.html so this external function got executed once you press the button submit and it will take this param value it will execute the test file uh, we will create the test file as well now and then uh, this param will be taken as an argument you will see the argument file as input and then it takes the uh, the value of this entire execution into out file and then it is rendering the same as data one this data one value is coming to this html file and rendering the value there you see the, the url we are just uh, importing the views dot views dot py which is this file into uh, url dot py and we are telling letting uh, letting know django that yes we have a views dot button and views dot uh, sorry it should be an html file should be an external okay now let's come to the absolute path where we need to create a test dot py python file that needs to be executed so let's uh, just print uh, your name my name is sys dot argv this, this is basically a uh, argument inbuilt module syst which takes as a function argv and it prints whatever argument you pass on this um, this file so uh, we need to import its uh, module as well so this is the module okay okay so this is all done and uh, we just need to we just need to execute it let's see Okay, so we can see the app server is running now. So we uh, we need to just uh, go to the local host port, port number eight eight zero zero, and we can see the HTML file that we have created. It got rendered over here, and once we give any name and execute this, we can see this error. Okay. So it is saying that this external is not matching okay so we can see the route path whether okay the, so the, uh, the error comes because of the spelling um, so external So we, we got this value but uh, we are getting some additional uh, characters as well so uh, this uh, we can, uh, on the script uh, we have uh, mentioned print uh, out so it is printing the same value here so we have taken the uh, only uh, out dot std out so that's why this entire thing is coming so we, we can trim this we can trim this up to here and the same will be reflected 